Here with Emily Williams of East Mills Girls Basketball. Emily, um, not only did you have 22 points tonight, but a pretty momentous occasion. Broke the school record, broke 1,000 points. Uh, just tell me how that feels. Um, I mean, it's amazing. I can't thank my teammates enough. I mean, giving me assist, and it's great. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, let's talk about this game. Uh, you know, a pretty big win there, 69-29 victory over Bedford. Uh, just talk about what you thought, just your overall thoughts on this one. Uh, we were pushing the ball pretty good, um, getting rebounds, and then getting it up the court. We were running through offense a little bit, getting good looks, and putting it in. You guys were able to force a lot of turnovers. Uh, just talk about, was that kind of a point of emphasis coming in? Yeah. Um, as we saw there, we were trying to pass it over the top. We had backside help, making sure we stole that and went down the court. And lastly, uh, Emily, just talk about, um, you know, what, what does it mean to you to, to not only be, you know, the, the leading scorer all time to have a thousand points, but I figure you're going to add to it uh, probably as the season goes on. Just tell me, you know, what does that milestone mean to you as a player? Um, I mean, it's great, but I think getting other people to score too, like helping my teammates, getting assists too, I me mean, getting other stats helps too. Absolutely. A team player as always. Emily, thanks so much for the time. Appreciate it. Congrats. Here with Alexis Moreno, head coach of East Mills Girls Basketball. A pretty easy win, I, I want to say, uh, over over uh, Bedford there, 69-29. Uh, just, just walk me through your thoughts on that game. Uh, yeah, it was very physical, right? Uh, not as easy as, or not necessarily as easy as the uh, score showed, right? They're pretty physical down low. Um, it's been a while since we've been able to put the ball in the hoop consistently. Uh, last week, we had a pretty tough week. Um, so it's nice to see our offense flowing, our shots uh, actually going in the basket. Um, we, we looked a lot more like ourselves today, I think, than we have all season. You guys were able to force a lot of turnovers. Uh, was that kind of a point of emphasis coming into this game? Yeah, I mean, um, that's always kind of what we're looking for. You know, our defense is what is the motor to our offense. So anytime we can get a steal or push the ball up from a uh, defensive rebound, that's really what we'd like to do. Uh, talk about Emily Williams, uh, 22 points on the night. She broke the school record for, for total career points, broke a thousand points, just a pretty big milestone night for her. Uh, just talk about what she brings to this program. Yeah, uh, that's that's a really big uh, a milestone, a thousand points in the career record. Um, I know it's been uh, inching up for for a while now. Uh, it probably feels really good to get that on a night where she had a high scoring night, right? It's been a it's been a little bit, you know, when she, we struggled to hit shots and get the ball into her or just any of our players, right? Um, it's tough. Uh, so she was feeling it tonight, which is nice. Um, she, she's working hard down there getting beat up. Um, it's nice that she can put the ball in the hoop uh, consistently for us. Yeah, and, and, you know, she was the story of the night, but you also had a, quite a few other players in double figures, Aspen Krauss, Natalie Goodman, Mia Goodman, all, all were able to get in the scoring column. Just talk about uh, just kind of the well-rounded effort tonight. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, we've been putting a lot of shots up in practice. Uh, definitely a point of emphasis to get those in at game speed at practice, a lot of, a lot of hands and faces. Uh, they feel good about this win. Uh, again, we've been struggling to score lately, so anytime we have multiple people in double digits, we love that. That's... Uh, we're a shooting team, um, and, it, and it's nice that that finally showed tonight. The season maybe didn't get off to, to the start that you guys had hoped for, um, but now you're, you're off two straight blowout wins um, to enter the Christmas break. What's that do, do for your confidence as you head into the, the couple weeks here? Yeah, um, it is really good for our confidence. Um, we have a lot of things to put uh, in during break, a lot of uh, different things to put in, so that gives them a little a little boost when we have, you know, two straight weeks without a game. That's kind of tough. Um, and the worst is two straight weeks of practice. So they're going to be uh, a little more upbeat about it, I think. It's always fun to go into a break uh, winning versus losing. So, What are some of those main things that, that you guys want to work on over these next few weeks without any games? Yeah, um, we want to continue to get the ball up the floor and find uh, our better windows on our offense. Uh, moving the ball quick. We're a fast team. So I think if we can use that more, we can get a lot more points out. Um, on that offensive end. And lastly, Coach, um, you know, this, this team came into this season with big aspirations. You know, maybe not the, the best first half of the season, but still a long way to go, and, and you're on a good note right now. So what are some of the goals uh, you guys have as, as the season ramps up ahead into January? Yeah, uh, the season did not start out how we wanted it to, but um, again, uh, we are looking forward to the conference tournament, right? We are looking forward to the postseason, and everything along that is just a learning process, right? Uh, even if we even if we lose the games that we did, uh, we learned a lot. We definitely learned a lot, um, and I think it kind of helped fuel us a little bit for that second half because uh, these girls don't like to lose. So uh, they definitely are putting in work 
uh, because of those losses. All right, Coach, congrats on the win. Thanks for the time. Thank you.